Hey guys, Phase 2 Action Review here, doing another action figure review, and today we're going to be looking at the Star Wars The Black Series gaming grades from Star Wars Battlefront 2, Umber Arc Trooper. So, I got this at GameStop because it was just recently re released in the GameStop stores, so I am psyched to have this figure, he looks really cool. So in the front of the box you could see the window with him inside the packaging, you could see the Black Series logo right here, and the gaming grade sticker. With Umbra Arc Trooper right there. On the side of the box, you could see the artwork. On the back, you could see the artwork again. He is number nine for the battlefront. And you could see a little bio right there. So if you want to read it, pause it right there. On the top of the box, the window, bottom you can see in the tag. And then on the side of the box, you could see the gaming grates again. The gaming grates blue. Star Wars the Black Series. And then the side of the window. So, let's get this open and see how he is. Alrighty guys, so I got him out of the packaging and he is very cool. Um, the yellow on him is very bright as well. And it looks it looks brighter on camera because of the light that I'm using. It's more of like a orangey kind of color. It's like an orangey-ish yellow. And um, yeah, so he's pretty cool. He comes with two accessories as you can see. He comes with the two DC-17s. And yeah, this is just kind of like the pose that I put him in. So it's kind of like the pose when you're like selecting the different outfits or in this case armors for the Clone Trooper and Star Wars Battlefront 2. Star Wars Battlefront 2 is one of my main video games that I play. So I was very happy to get this figure. They even have like the silver points on the back, which they've done before but this one looks a little bit better for some reason to me at least it looks a little bit i don't know it just looks like there's more paint but even though there's probably not it's just i don't know but um <laughs> getting into the different stuff about this figure um he is from battlefront like i said he is one of the four different selective styles he well, there's technically eight selective styles, as he's one of the four different designs, because there's the phase one and phase two. Um, it would be cool if they made the other designs for these arc troopers. It would be very cool to get them all. It would be cool to kind of display them together. And, yeah. So, let's get into the articulation of this guy. So, let me take his DC-17s out. Alright, so we got him out. So... The head can go not really up much, can go down an okay amount, and can turn all the way around with a little bit of tilt, a little bit of tilt. The arms can go all the way around, up to about there, and there is a butterfly joint. You can bend to about 90 which is pretty good same with this arm both can bend to about 90 there is a elbow swivel um, I don't think there's a bicep swivel the hands can swivel all the way around and there is a side to side hinge legs can go up about that far if you put them to the side there is a thigh swivel knees can bend back about that far and the feet can go back that far, up that far, and there is some pivoting, and then there is an ab crunch and swivel around, so that's pretty much it for the articulation. Another thing I forgot to mention is the DC-17s can actually go in the holsters here, so if you don't want to have them displayed, let's get into some comparisons. So here is, oh, let me fix this, but there we go. So here he is with the Tordoskovsky Clone Wars Fordo, and then another art trooper, which would be Echo. Um, pretty sure, th are these the only art troopers in the Black Series right now? I'm pretty sure they are. Yeah, I'm pretty sure these are the only art troopers right now, um, besides the Jesse that's coming out, which... It's very, very inaccurate, but maybe I'll make a video on that when he gets in hand or something. Um, and then 
a lot of people have them displayed with the 212 because it's kind of like an orangey color. It's kind of off, but honestly, it's probably where I'm going to put mine. It's kind of behind them because I don't really have anywhere else to put them, which you will see in the upcoming video of my collection, my Black Series collection. Um, sorry that that video has actually been delayed. Um, I've just have been getting some stuff coming in, so it'll probably be out Friday because I have Clone Wars Dark Darth Maul coming in. Plus, I also just got this Echo, so I was waiting for that. And now that I have the Echo, I'm just going to be waiting for the Darth Maul, which will be coming in Wednesday. So, hopefully I'll have the video by Friday. And, yeah, so this is going to be the end of the video. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and consider hitting the subscribe button. I do tons of different action figure reviews, news, hauls, and more. Um, I'm thinking about doing a, like, podcast type thing. Um... So that'll be pretty cool just talking about different Star Wars media stuff, like the Black Series or Customs or something like that. So stay tuned for that. And yeah, so hit the like button, consider hitting the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next one.